Hi, my name's Simon Halsey and I'm a conductor living in England. I'm absolutely thrilled to be part of the University of North Florida Jacksonville Sings Virtual Week. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? I've been practicing it for a while. I'm a friend of Cara Tasha, the Director of Choral Activities, and she is a force of nature. And it's the force of nature and what's so wonderful about choir music that I'd like to talk to you about. I got really excited about choir music when I was quite young. I sang in my church choir and I remember when I was seven watching my conductor uh, conducting us in a piece and tears were running down his cheeks. And I remember thinking very clearly, my goodness, there must be something in this if you can be so moved by something. The choir was quite good. We were singing some contemporary music and I loved the feeling of being part of a team of people. Now, I come from a bit of a dynasty of choir conductors. My dad was a very famous choir conductor and my mum sang in his choir. And I used to go along to rehearsals and sit at the back. And to be honest, I didn't like it much because I'd rather be at home playing with my friends. But the thing I did really enjoy, and this is going to sound really nerdy, is I loved watching them put out the 32 chairs in three rows. Um, I loved the, seeing the attendance registers, the piles of music being put out, the ticking off of people as they arrived, everything to do with the administration. So very early on, I used to put my teddy bears in rows and uh, take a register and pretend that they were a choir. I told you I was a bit nerdy. When I was eight years old, I was sent away to boarding school to be what's called a cathedral chorister. Um, this was ghastly. The school was horrible. It was like being in a Dickens novel. We were cold, we were hungry, we were beaten. It was ghastly. But the thing that saved it every day was singing in a great big church. Um, and we sang a service every day of the week. And the music was different every day. And I sang so much different music and we met so many famous composers and the people who sang alto tenor and bass in the choir were so inspiring because they had such wonderful voices and the conductor who was an academic because it was a choir in a university in a city called Oxford um, he was very exciting because he knew so much about the music he was a professor and he could communicate it so well to us and what is interesting is that so many of those kids who sang in that choir were inspired to go on to be musicians or like my daughter many years later to see how important choir is in people's lives um, and to try and spread that through the population as widely as possible. Now let me tell you about my daughter. She's called Harriet and she's a teacher and she was in a youth choir that I'd founded and she was the one in the back row who was always talking. She was always messing about. I was never sure she really liked being in the choir, but she was very proud of the concerts. And if I was conducting the concert, she would put a message or a silly picture in my score. So I would suddenly come across it at some very serious moment. And she didn't continue with her singing beyond university. But she's a primary school teacher and she knows how important singing is. So she arranged that all her kids who can sing well go to sing in the local symphony youth chorus. And these are often kids from very deprived backgrounds. And they get the most extraordinary experience of meeting people from such a wide variety of life. And that's the thing about choir, isn't it? You could be sitting next to anybody, anyone who has a completely different life from you, more money, less money, different religion, no religion at all, goes to a different school, does things, thinks about things completely differently. But what is it that choir is so exciting for? Well, I think one for friendships. I do really believe that if you're in choir and you can make friends when you're eight, when you're 11, when you're 15, you can at any point in your life. So when you go to college, for example, wherever you go, you can join the choir and immediately you're part of a community of people studying different subjects of different ages and different backgrounds, many international students. And suddenly, instead of being lonely, you're part of a community on day one. 
At the university I teach at, we begin the academic year with a big sort of come and sing project and a big come and play project so that students can get to know each other on their first night. So when you wake up on your second morning at the university, you already know a whole load of people. A very moving example of that for me was when I used to conduct in another university a choir and it was a community choir. And I remember a really, really old man coming to join the choir um, and he was extremely welcome. And I got talking to him after a while and he told me his wife had died. And with that, all his sort of social life and his security, if you like, his, uh, his ability to go out and make friends. And so he'd remembered that he'd sung in high school, but hadn't sung since, um, you know, 50, 60 year gap. And he came to join the University of Warwick Choir. It was a big choir, it was a good choir. That wasn't the point. He met lots of people. And I remember on a tour of France, he told me his life was entirely transformed. He had dozens of friends. Lots of those friends were undergraduates. Um, there were, he'd met lots of people from China and from Germany and the United States. Um, uh, he'd learned lots of music. He'd learned lots of languages. And this is the thing. Choir is all about sharing, and that discipline is so important in the rest of your life, even if you don't do it every week for the rest of your life. Also, if you've got used to disciplining yourself, turning up every Tuesday for choir or every lunchtime for choir, and that you have to remember your music and get organised and be on time and then take part in something really good and have a responsibility to other people, these things have a real knock-on effect throughout life. And it's often said that in both high school and university, people who are in choir or in orchestra, or of course in really important uh, team sports, um, are particularly well organised in every other aspect of their lives and do well academically. Um, uh, the university I teach at, the University of Birmingham in England, we actually have special scholarships for instrumentalists and singers, many of them, 36 of them. Uh, and these are for people who are not studying music because we think that someone reading Spanish and French or studying medicine, if they play the cello really well or sing really well in choir, are likely to be a better doctor or linguist than if you don't. It's an interesting thought. And so when you come to do your college applications, make a big thing about the fact that you were in choir. Um, you'll travel. You'll probably get to do tours. I've got friends all over the world. It's so exciting. And you'll get an interest in other cultures and in languages. And that for you in the United States and me in the United Kingdom is so important. My European colleagues, they all speak two, three, four, five languages, and they are completely at home in other cultures, reading other people's books, watching other people's films. And if we have English as our only language, that's really dangerous. So take the the Spanish that you sing, the German that you sing, the Italian that you sing, and go and do at least a basic course and then travel once COVID's finished and see these people and enjoy these cultures. And if you've sung some of the songs of, let's say, France, when you go there, you've got some phrases, you've got a feeling of the way the culture sort of smells and tastes. And there is an enormous musical brotherhood and sisterhood. And I'm very lucky to share that with Cara Tasha in Jacksonville. Um, it was a real eye opener to me when I came to the University of North Florida and saw how wonderful the choral program is and worked with all the people there and with the great orchestra in the city. And without that, I'd never have come to Florida. I'd have never seen all the wonderful things you have in your community. So use music as a springboard for the whole of your life. And I hope you continue to enjoy choir.